Liam, not our day today. Uh, two goals in the first half, won it. Overall, how would you sum that one up? Hugely disappointing. Um, as I said, the conditions were always going to have a bearing on the game. It was always going to be abundantly clear that it was going to be a lot easier to play against the wind than with the wind because the wind was that strong. Um, and again, two really poor goals. Paddy's caught in possession. We don't clear our lines. We're in an area where we don't need to be in possession. We just need to buffer off so we can get the ball out the air. And again, just concede a sloppy one, which is disappointing, that, especially after we haven't conceded all season. And the other one, the, the second goal has come. Now initially, it's gone into Samo. It's an easy ball to hold up. He has nailed it up. They've broke on us, covering the position. Now, whether it's a pen or whether it isn't a pen, Regan's put himself in a position where he's given the referee to make a decision. And with it being in the North East, you're always going to get the decision against you because that's what, it, that's what happens. Um, from there on, obviously, we've had to take the game to them in the second half and made a simple substitution at half time. People always say it's a bit of a knee jerk. That, that actually wasn't because we needed to get up the pitch. We were, we were going to have a lot of the ball because we were against the wind and the pitch is big. And that was another little thing which actually caused us out. The pitch was really big, really big. And, you know, Egg Avenue is quite narrow now. And, uh, you know, the, the way with the way with the shape is something we need to look at, well, I need to look at, especially the size of this pitch. It ended up becoming a real problem for us. Uh, but, you know, as I said, I'm not going to, I haven't gone OTT saying how fabulous we've been, so I'm not going to OTT saying how poor we've been. We are disappointed. It's good to be disappointed at times because it shows you that A, you're there and B, you care. Uh, but it also means that there's a lot more hard work to do. We've actually got to get our heads around it. We'll go into a tough double the header next weekend against Telford and Alfredton. And we've got to make sure we're ready. And again, we've got to make sure I pick the best 11 to start. And we've got to make sure that you know we're hungry to succeed and you know, get back on, get three points on the board. And, uh, Again, start looking up the table rather than down. Pa past couple of games we've scored early goals. Obviously today we conceded the early goal. You said that the goals were sloppy. Can you maybe put your finger on why it was kind of so sluggish? I just think we got fouled out shape wise. Uh, now that could have something to do with the wind. It could have something to do with the fact that we, we, we were included in. We didn't start great. Uh, very, very rarely uh, the last eight, nine months that you've come in and said, you know, A, B, C, D, I've been off it, I've been second best with it, I'm, you know, being brutally honest, I can't recall making a triple substitution at half time, well, must have somewhere along the line, but I can't recall it, I said, that tells you, and during the second half there was others, if you could have made a change, I would have made a change, uh, that's the disappointing side, but it is what it is, they, they haven't gone out to, on purpose to do it, now, uh, again, Sometimes a good little wake up call early in the season is actually nice. You know, again, fair play to, to Darla. Like us last week, we played the conditions better against guys than they did. Uh, and today they played it better than, than we did. Uh, so the wind goes away. You mentioned the three changes at half time, as you say, changes needed to be made. What was the thinking there with those three changes and, and how that kind of benefited us in the second half? Uh, well, we gonna, they'd, they'd gone to a three at the back, so our full backs had to carry the ball. You know, defensively, Zen hadn't really done much wrong, but Regan's going to give us more going that way, and Doyley's going to give us more going the other way. Also, we needed to get on to get around the pitch a bit more. Uh, now, you can turn around and say we were better in the second half, which we were, but again, it's only Raul that really had the shot. Raul, to be fair to him, kept grafting and had, had a good go. Uh, but it's one of them days. We've got a tough week working, training hard, putting things in, hopefully hurting a little bit and then we bring it up and then we turn up first thing on Saturday and put a performance in. You mentioned about the week off now, obviously the bank holiday weekend coming up after a clear week, is it a case of regrouping and getting back to, to work this week? Yeah, well, we don't have any other choice, uh, we can have a, a relatively hard week, but we can certainly work hard on Monday. Uh, and then start to bring it a little bit back down coming in towards the weekend uh, because you know, Saturday Monday takes a lot out of, out of anyone but you know, as I said we've, we've got to make sure that we're right Go on Saturday uh, it's a big game you know, Telford beat us convincingly at, at Southport last year when we didn't have a side um, and we've got to make sure that we, we take the game to them and, and actually you know, make sure that they realise they're in the game Thanks for time.